Hey everyone, it's Angela from avpan.com and this is the wrap up video of the last three videos we did about exposure. So we talked about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. ISO is the light sensitivity that hits your sensor in your camera and then aperture is the size of the opening in your lens and then shutter speed is the length of time that um, that the that lens opening stays open. So the first thing that I want to say is read your camera manual. If you haven't read it yet, definitely read it because that will help you figure out how to change your ISO, how to change your aperture and your shutter speed so that you don't have to. And then the more you practice, you don't even have to look at your camera. You can just like move your fingers and you will know the difference. Um, what you're changing and like um, how much you're changing and stuff like that. So you wouldn't even have to like pull your eye away from the camera and look at it. So definitely read your camera manual. And then um, let's talk about how another way to think about these three things. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that you can think of these three, three things as, um, as like a window. So your aperture is how big your window is. If it's like a small little like airplane window or if it's like a big home window on the side of your house or something. So that is your aperture and the shutter speed is how long you keep it open. Um, if you leave it open all day, if you leave it just like for a second to see what it's like outside and then close it. Um, and then ISO is kind of like how much um, light affects your eyes I guess, like the light sensi sensitivity to your eyes. Like if it's really bright outside you're kind of going to squint. I don't know, that one's kind of a stretch but like you kind of get it, like how sensitive it is, the light is <laughs> to your eyes. I don't know. Anyways, so the good thing about digital photography is that we can always practice all of these three things. Um, because when you change one of the things, like if you change your ISO, it's going to it's gonna affect everything else. It's going to make your, sh your shutter speed go faster, and then that may cause like... Um, uh, a picture that you didn't want like if it makes your shutter speed go faster then if you're looking for a motion picture then it's going to stop motion or um, if you change your aperture um, and you don't change anything else then things might be out of focus or everything or it might be too blurry um, yeah so like once you change one thing out of those three ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, everything's going to change. So that's the good thing about shutter or about digital photography is that we get to practice and we get to um, we get to just see how it affects your picture. So what I would like you guys to do is try this out. Read your camera manual, figure out how to change all these settings, and just try it out. Keep your put your camera on manual. And then change your ISO from 100 to 500 to like 1000 and then put it in your computer because it's better to see it bigger. You'll definitely see the difference and leave your aperture and shutter speed the same. And then go and then take your camera again and then keep your ISO the same and your shutter speed the same and then change your aperture from um, 4.0 to 11 excuse me, to 22 or something like that. And then change, and then look at it on your computer and then change your shutter speed. Um, and then, I mean, you see where I'm going with this. Just see, try out the different settings and see how it affects your camera, see how it affects your images and you will definitely um, understand each of these principles a lot better. So let's talk about metering so that you can tell if you're taking a well-exposed image or not. In the viewfinder, when you're looking through, you'll see your image that you're about to shoot, plus a little like timeline underneath. It goes from negative two, zero to positive two. The negative two side is means um, your image is dark, that you'll have a lot of blacks in it. And the zero, it means that supposedly your image is well exposed. You have um, a good amount of white, you have a good amount of black, you have grays. Supposedly at the zero, um, you have a well exposed image and then at the positive two side it means that your image has a lot of whites it's very overexposed it has a lot of um <laughs> whites so underneath this timeline there's a little dot and then usually i like to start off with that dot at zero and then that means um 
that you have a well exposed image. So you take that picture and you see what it looks like to your eye. Um, if it's too white, sometimes that can happen. If it's too white, then you want to change either your ISO, your aperture, or your shutter speed so that it goes over to the left hand side at the negative two side. Um, depending on how much white or if it's if it's a little bit white then you want to go just a little bit over maybe to um, negative one-third or negative one if it's really white like blindingly white then you want to go all the way to negative two and the same thing goes if it's too dark then you want to go if it's way too dark you want to go to the plus two side and if it's too, a little bit too dark then maybe you want to go to plus one-third or plus two-thirds and I hope this helps. I hope you understand the metaphor in the very beginning and that you need to practice your different settings so you understand exactly for yourself how each of these things affect your image. And I hope you understood the metering system in your camera and how that can help you make a better exposed picture. So let me ha know how this works for you. And if you'd like to see any other videos, leave it in the comments. Or if you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing more videos like this. Not ex about exposure, but about other things in your camera and different settings and things like that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.